a boot loop issue which occurs when a phone repeatedly restarts and cannot fully load the operating system. If you reached options like Erase App, Data Wipe Cache and Power Off, this likely happened in recovery mode. Here's a step-by-step -step suggestion based on the options. Select the option to wipe the cache partition first. This won't delete personal data, but it can solve issues by removing corrupted cache files. If wiping the cache doesn't work and the device still won't boot properly, you may need to select the Erase App Data or Factory Reset option. Be aware this will erase all the data on your phone, so only choose this if you're okay with starting fresh or if you've backed up your data. If none of these options work, powering off the device and trying to boot it up again may help. Sometimes the phone needs a full reset after clearing the cache or data. But if your phone is still acting up, we might need to take a bigger step. This is where things get a little more serious, doing a factory reset. I know, nobody wants to do this, but if your phone can't load Android, this might be your only option left. And I have to be real with you here, doing a factory reset will erase all your data. That means photos, apps, messages, everything. So if you don't have a backup, this is the last resort to do a factory reset. You'll stay in recovery mode and scroll down to the option that says wipe data factory reset confirm it. Let the process finish and then reboot. Your phone will be like it just came out of the box. This will fix most software problems but again, it's only if you've got no other choice. Now if none of that works and your phone is still stuck, there's one more advanced trick that could save the day. First make sure your TFT unlock tool is installed and ready to go on your computer. Now if you've tried the usual methods and your phone still isn't responding, that's where using the test point method comes in. But before you even connect your phone, make sure you've got the right Samsung USB drivers installed on your computer. This is crucial because without the drivers, the tool won't detect your device. Now, to get into test point mode, you'll need to open up your Samsung phone's back cover. Be careful with this step because you don't want to damage any of the internal components. Once the cover is off, look for the test point area on the motherboard. This is usually a small pair of metal pads and their exact location can vary depending on your Samsung model. You'll need to short these pads together using a pair of tweezers or a small wire. While holding the test point pads together, connect your phone to the computer with a USB cable. The TFT unlock tool should now detect your phone in edge mode. If it doesn't, make sure you're applying the correct pressure on the pads and try again. Also make sure to check whether your phone's model is blocked from accessing the test point. This step can be a bit tricky, but once you've got it right, the software will recognize the phone. Once your phone is detected in end load, go into the TFT unlock tool and select the option to perform a factory reset. This is where you'll see options like remove lock, prep reset, or factory reset. You want to choose the one that fits your specific issue. Once you select the reset option, the software will take over and start wiping the phone's data. This process might take a few minutes, so sit tight and let the tool do its thing. You'll see a progress bar, and once it's done, your Samsung phone will reboot itself. At this point, it's completely reset, just like it was when you first got it. Now keep in mind, everything on the phone will be erased during this reset, and that's it. Your Samsung phone is now fully reset using the test point method. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more tips just like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.